welcome 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 everyone to today's successful thursday session hope everybody is doing good very happy to see each and every one of you if my audio and video is clear for you just go ahead and put the chat box clear let's dive in and get our wonderful 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 successful thursday session started and also if this is your very first time that you're attending successful thursday session i am super thrilled and glad to invite you and you know really welcome you to the gfa community so thank you for being an amazing member in the gfa community as well awesome super glad 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 to hear from everybody and uh, just a quick recap the last week has been amazing we had a super cool event in uh, salem basically for the tamil nadu chapter let me just go ahead and try to give you a little bit of images which will cover the happenings of the meetings as well very very well done and professionally done as well and also a lot of other meetings also coming up okay so the chennai meeting is coming up the global global team is also getting geared up so lots in the pipeline but for now let me just go ahead and give you a quick snapshot into some of the pictures yeah so here you go here are some of the pictures and uh, images from the tn chapter meeting so well organized by the uh, team so members coming and sharing so taking part in different activities and wonderful uh, takeaways and gifts were also planned by some of our members itself so members that come forward to give some of their products and they also exhibited some of their uh, products as well yeah so that was a group picture so a group picture was shot at the same day evening the picture was given to members and uh, yeah so there was a goodie bag slash takeaway bag given to every single member people got certified so there's a small gift bag which had some of our members products and details yeah so that's about it lots 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 to come so let me just go, go. past and give you a quick sneak peek yeah so lots such events will be happening and it will continue to happen today our topic is going to be about what are the simple ways to start budgeting for your business okay if you have actually started budgeting for your business just give me started in the chat and if you have really not started budgeting just give me uh, waiting or just put wait okay you're still on the wait and this me let's get this started let's get the conversation going on let's let's start this somewhere okay because without budget it's very very difficult for you to gear your business towards profit let's say started good ambrose dwagran started shukumar 50 50 okay jisu waiting still waiting on wait started great mix the responses but let's get started today let me know if you having some of these challenges business is happening but i am not able to take some money out for my personal need or maybe for reinvestment or when i want to buy a machinery or new piece of land i'm not able to take the money out of the business business is happening but i'm not able to take the money out of the business if you if that's happening for you or if you kind of been there just just put me in the chat number 2 is there are some cost which i am not controlling because there is overflow of cash or maybe there is no proper system where there is no due diligence happening so cost is getting leaked up there is a better way to spend money but people are like spending money like crazy in my team there is always a difference when i am there in purchase and how much money i will spend and how much money my team is actually spending i think there is a gap and if you feel that kind of a gap is there for your company just put me in the chat or if you are someone 
where just money is coming, money is going out, but I just know the turnover, but you know, this is, there's no profit basically, just in and out is there, but there's nothing that is staying. There's, there's no profit basically. Just, just give me in the chat. And if you have not hit your profit target, just give me me in the chat. And I want to know how many of you actually have a profit goal for your business. If you have a profit goal for your business, give me profit in the chat. And if you don't have a profit goal in your business, give me NG in the chat or just give no in the chat. I'm not talking about just the percentage. I'm just even talking about the revenue. Like this financial year, my business wants to do 100 crore or 5 crore, 10 crore, 15 lakh, 45 lakh. Okay, that's one goal. But do you have a goal where this financial year, I want to make 10 lakh cash profit, 10 crore cash profit, 25 crore cash profit. Do you have a goal for cash profit? Okay, good. Prabhakaran has a goal. Good. And a lot of others are still waiting and NG. That's fine. But let's now, let's start working on that. Okay. Yes. Vijaya Galaxy has a profit goal. Manasa has a profit goal. Great. Wonderful. And how your goal can be better is what we're going to be working on now. Okay. So let me just open up this tool. For some of you, it's going to be a refresher, but I have not really done this session in the English batch. So this is going to be an amazing tool for you. So do not miss out on creating budget for your business. Well, here is your tool. Okay, so how to use this sheet? Green column, enter data, yellow column, formula, don't edit it, and orange cells, formula, do not edit. What you have to do is just enter data in the green column dot. Wherever there is green column, just enter data. Like you have green, 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 you have green and you have green. Just enter data. The rest of the places do not edit it. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and probably share this particular sheet in all the WhatsApp groups, the official GFA WhatsApp group, so that those who are working on it can actually create the profit tracker or the budgeting right away. Okay. So just hang in there. Keep looking forward to the official group right now. We're just going to share this particular details. Okay, so profit tracker tool is what we're going to be sending there. Great. It has now been shared to all your groups. Bingo. You can just download and begin to work on that, right? So as I said, do not edit these. Uh, I mean, do not just uh, enter data on all the columns. Just take care of the green columns, okay? Just the green columns, okay? So I'm going to resume this screen sharing. I hope it has been reached to all the groups. Oh, great. Resumed. Okay. So there are six types of categories. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six. By the way, I want to tell you the stuff that I'm going to teach you now or share now. People have written multiple books on this and all that, but a lot of theoretical stuff is there. But I'm only going to give you some practical stuff. And uh, if you use the most costliest or probably the high-end uh, uh, ERP such as SAP and all, even what I'm telling can be automated with those softwares. One of our members who met me off late shared that, you know, I attended this particular budget session and I decided to get this automated to our, through our software. Their software is right now moving funds from one account to sub accounts exactly as per the budget that has been allotted. If you think this is like a wow, just give me a wow in the chat. For example, if you decide 15% of my turnover is what I want to spend for my employees, the software is trying to push 15% from the master account 
to the sub account, which is going to be the employee account every single month or week as per your decision, and it'll get parked aside. And uh, Okay, a couple of you have said file is not opening. If others are able to open the file, just say open the file. So let me just check if the file is not opening. I'll reshare a different file right now. If the file is working, just say working. File is not working, just say not able to open. No worries. Let me just reshare it right away. I'll give you another. That's maybe because I, I'm also parallelly opening this sheet, right? No worries, I'm gonna send you another document now. Yeah, it has been sent. So just use this, this will work. Okay, if the new sheet is working, just give me working. Okay, yeah, maybe you have to enable the editing, no problem, I've just given you the new sheet, okay, yeah. Great, great, great. Very nice to see people who are actually in the system, computer and stuff. But I'm on, I want to tell you that in the probably entire country or nation, we are the only group of people who are all like-minded, connected together, working on a single sheet, and the agenda is budget and profitability. We're the only crazy group of people who believe it's possible to make profits out of business, and we're all talking about profits. Okay, the power of this room, the wavelength of this room is so strong that together we can achieve amazing things, right? So this is a wow stuff, right? That the accounting software itself is pushing that money. See, this pushing that money to another account is not just to have some kind of a control. It is to ensure that your business is really running on systems. I was so fa fascinated to see a software company, I mean, I mean, it's not just for software, it basically happens for any company, but I was so fascinated to hear from a software company, they have even headcounts based on turnover. You know, the company has kept the account so simple that the average revenue per employee, okay, RPE, average revenue per employee will be about $100,000. So. Imagine 100, 100 people into $100,000. That's how they work. So if the turnover, that's when the layoff and everything goes. I'm not saying when the turnover is coming down, you have to send off people. But I'm saying when the turnover is coming down, find a way to get productivity out from the people so that you know, you're still able to manage the profit and things like that. We'll, we'll talk more about this. But the whole idea is we should not get carried away. Right. Let me... Just tell you, it's not just about control. I'm telling you guys, it's just beyond that. It's 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 about it's about psychology. It's about using the money wisely. It's about effectively working on all of that. If a government itself is running so much on budgets, imagine how good a business should be running. Yes, government is so important, but again, business is like profits, right? Government idea, the ideal agenda of a government is to do good for the society. So it is kind of okay if the government kind of overspends the money because it's always good to spend money on development and infrastructure, right? It's like an ROI, but a business is not like that. You need to show profits. If you don't show profits, yeah, you may show losses sometimes, you know, to avoid taxes and all that stuff. But when you want to rapidly expand, when you want to attract investors, when you want to attract third parties who want to collaborate with you, when you want to do OEM for other top brands in the world and all, you, you need to have good EBITDA, E-B-I-T-A, earnings before incomes and taxes. Right? So the concept is this. I want to ask you some questions. How many of you have your Wi-Fi on right now? If you have your Wi-Fi on in your mobile, and if your mobile is not in use, just say Wi-Fi in the chat. If you have your Bluetooth on in your mobile and Bluetooth is not at all needed right now, just put in Bluetooth in the chat. If you have mobile data in your mobile, which is switched on and mobile data is not at all needed right now, just say mobile data. 
Wi-Fi also on, mobile data also on, Bluetooth also on. And if your mobile is having full brightness, okay, just say bright in the chat. Okay, right. See, the idea is if you have just 15% of juice, which is battery juice, and if you want to use your phone till for the next four or five hours, what all you will do, right? Just ask yourself, what will you do? What will you do if you have only 15% battery life? And you need to go for, you need the juice to come for about four or five hours. So Prabhagaran says always reader mode, on, read, switch off. On, check message, switch off, right? So what all you will do? 15% battery life and you want your phone to, to be used for the next four or five hours. Just give me in the chat what all you will do. Go into power saver mode, ultra power saver mode is on. Close all the open tabs, absolutely close Bluetooth off, reduce brightness, data off, go to power saving mode, switch off, even switch off and switch on only when you need it. Okay, it's better instead of phone completely going switched off, it's better to switch off now and to switch on when needed only. Okay, that's a good suggestion. Only calls and messages will be enabled, internet off, even not taking the phone and just taking the time also. Just do not take the phone outside. Just keep the phone inside the pocket. Take it out or even touch the phone only when you need it. Because when you try to keep the phone near your face, automatically it's trying to scan and you know it's working, right? So keep the phone upside down because sometimes even if your phone is working, if you say, hey, Google, or okay, Google or hey, Siri, it tries to work, work on its own, right? Yes. That's the human psychology. If you give budgets, this is what will happen to your team. If you don't have budgets, what is happening with your phone right now will happen for your business. For every paper, saving 10 paise per paper, nobody will bother in your company. Saving 5 rupees in a, on an electricity bill, nobody will bother in your company. Reusing a marker, nobody will bother in your company. Reusing a wastage, nobody will bother in your company. But when you have the budgets, people will start thinking like anything. You know, in one manufacturing company, one person came out with an idea saying that, sir, we are buying waste cloth for 2 lakh rupees. Why don't we wash the waste and reuse it? And guess what? The This idea was a brilliant breakthrough idea that they found out that their wastage is not having so much oil so that they can wash the waste cloth and reuse it by which they are saving 1.5 lakh Indian rupees every single month by just this simple idea. It may not be a brilliant idea, but at the end of the day, money saved is money saved. Only if the business owner is working, money is getting saved, then that's a system problem. If you want to change this, give people a budget. Tell them, give me 1,500 leads with a budget of 2.5 lakhs. You are the marketing guy, right? Don't go and spend all the 2.5 lakhs together. Split into four quarters. So first quarter, you've got about uh, 1.25. Another odd is about 70, 60, 65 odd, right? So 65 to 70K is your first quarter charge. And if you want to just take two and spend it on, spend 1.25 also, I'm fine. But in six months' time, I would like to see 750 leads. Do what you want to do. Just come back, give me this. I This is my cost per lead that I have. Go make your plan. You want to go for digital marketing, reels, social media, third party, internal, external, export, do all of that. That's what budget can do. I will tell you, I'm not saying employees are bad or they're playing smartly, but you are the go-getter, right? You're the risking guy. Your employees are not technically risk takers. Sometimes they will also play safe. They will not have the confidence to go and spend on something and get the results. They will silently put the ball in your court and say, sir, ma'am, can we spend on this? So you are the one who's nodding your head. And if there is no result, you are the one who's going to be in charge. Give the budget to them. How many of you have multiple branches over here? How many of you have multiple branches? If you have multiple branches, say multi. Just put multi in the chat. If you have multiple branches, 
you need to make that brand one of the branch in charges you have to tell them hey in your branch you have a revenue from your branch from the total revenue i want the employee cost to be 12% the cost to the company of an employee to be 12% yeah santanam great so you need to go tell one of your managers and say 12% is the allowed budget for manpower you keep it under 12% and i'll i'll reward you with an incentive for that as simple and this 12% you don't go and tell everybody just the top leaders or if you don't want to tell 12% on the other hand just give them the rough number just convert the 12% into money and say this is the budget for the manpower whatever you want to do with the manpower this is what you have to do with the same guys you want to increase the salary or you want to get new guys that's your problem but this is the budget that is allotted do whatever you want to do with this but i want results push it on to them that's when you'll be able to build more 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 companies and more branches as well so let's just come to the budgeting sheet so six cost pockets okay i call it as mob crm let me just go through this here okay m o b c r m okay you basically divide a company's turnover into six different pockets the first pocket is basically m for margin or in other words i would say making cost okay making cost or buying cost or purchase cost so how much money is going into making the product if your company is doing sale okay 100 rupees maybe 60 rupees is going for making the product okay now let's do some interesting things guys as i am speaking here i want you to put in your numbers in the chat and if you have any doubts just shoot your doubts in the chat itself let's clear it as i am working on it margin like when you do 100 rupees sale how many how much percentage are you spending on making the product or buying the product it's basically the landing cost for you i buy this phone for 90000 i sell it for 1 lakh so my landing price is 90 percentage so here my answer would be 90 if i am running a hotel i will make a biryani for 40 not 40 rupees but giving an example okay i will make a biryani for 40 rupees and sell it for 100 rupees which means 40 rupees is my making cost so what is going to be your margin cost like the making cost the margin expense i'm saying i'm not saying the margin that you take home the money that goes from you for the product itself give me give me give me in the chat like this diamond veer money your into services right for services basically literally no money is going for margin but i will say just say 10% take a conservative 10% for services company because your time is your key resource time waste is is there for you so for all the services people just take 10% now we have uh, yeah so i thought we have somebody in the industry from uh, gold jewelry business yeah so basically you take 95 percentage for your product if you are into jewelry 10 90% goes for the product okay selva murugan 20 rupees you yeah, tell me all the others just go ahead and put in the chat if 1000 rupees sale is coming how much how much percentage is going for the product what is your product cost 20% 30% 40% 50% 80% what is your product cost go ahead come on give me in the chat selva murugan great 20 20% each yeah what about others 25 cnc great argus cnc 70% each mala arun prakash yeah so 80 percentage tamil version 33 percentage this basically varies from business to business that is why we are not able to tell this is the right percentage for your budget go follow no i cannot say that if see now we have janardhanan into solar products right so 80 percentage is gone for the product itself how i can go and say 30% take home not possible right 80% 100 rupees 80 rupees is gone for product itself only 20 rupees is there the 20 rupees should be able to split for all the other things that is what budgeting is all about now start working on this 
Okay, so let's just say somebody is spending 70 rupees on this. You enter your number, I am giving some random number. Okay, so next is O, O for overheads. Overheads is your office rent EMI. Or in other words, even if there is lockdown, even your company is running or not running, you have to pay this money. Okay, your rent, EB, loan, all these would be your overheads. Right, maybe even your existing software cost or whatever you're spending, all of that is going to be overheads. Now tell me your budget for overheads. The, the number will vary from everybody, but just give me your, just put OH and share your percentage. Like for example, I have just put in OH20 in the chat. So put in the chat, what is your OH percentage, your overheads? 4.5, great. Ten percent, twenty percent, great. So I'm gonna just say fifteen percent over here. See, now already seventy plus fifteen. How much is gone? Eighty-five is gone. We have only fifteen percentage left. Okay, so let's go with the budget. Yeah, done. Can I jump to the next one? I'm just trying to give you simple way to start the budget. Then I will give you the most powerful way to do the do the budget. But everything starts from this. B, B for branding, okay? Branding, marketing, advertising, business card, brochure, exhibition, participation, travel, abroad travel, trying to establish business relationships, anything and everything related to branding. Like you are part of some other organization for, for business purposes or associations, all that goes into branding. What is your branding percentage? Let's just say one percentage of the turnover is going for branding. And if you have a goal, just put in B dash percentage. Just B dash percentage and put in the chat. Because the more you put in the chat, at least I know some people are actually right now working on the budget. Okay. We are not learning right now. Please understand this is not a learning meeting. We are actually working right now. You're doing the most important thing as a business owner for your company right now. Never postpone this. Don't say, I will get this sheet. Tomorrow I will go. I will sit and discuss with my partner. No, no, no. You prepare one flow, then you go discuss. Three percentage. Okay, great. Three percent, point five percent, point two five percent, whatever your number is. Just go ahead and put that in the chat. Great. Now, here's the most important stuff, which is basically C for CTC. Selva Murugan, two percentage on branding. Mala, three percentage on branding. Wonderful. Yeah, 3% on branding would be very aggressive for you, uh, Ms. Mala Arun Prakash, because you're, you're, you said already 80% is gone for the product. So 80, if 80% 80 is going on for the, for the product, I would say keep your branding within half percentage or one percentage. Don't go beyond that. Yeah, loan, EMI, principal interest. Yes, 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 absolutely. Principal and interest, everything. Basically, just take your final EMI money. Okay. So CTC is cost to company. What is cost to company? Basically, all the employee cost. Only employee, employee. Whatever you're going to spend on employee. What all will you spend on employee? For employee, you will spend the salary, bonus, ESI, PF, insurance, rent, gifts, uniform, shoe, everything. If you just take salary, not enough. Everything related to your employee. In fact, I will show you another document. Yeah, this is the cost to company ratio. Okay, 
in fact you have to write every you have to have a separate tracking like this name of an employee what role what salary travel allowance vehicle maintenance insurance room rent telephone bonus refreshment uniform other benefits one two three finally you will find this ctc ctc means cost to company somebody getting just twenty thousand salary is uniform in a year i'm just going to convert everything to one month okay so uniform in one year you're going to spend four thousand rupees i will convert this by 12 per month i'm trying to make okay so let me just try to give you a thing okay yeah it's twenty thousand salary travel allowance monthly thousand five hundred vehicle maintenance five hundred insurance five thousand rupees per year divided by 12 so 417 rupees room rent allowance not applicable for this employee for a sim card you are spending 350 rupees for bonus there is basically 20,000 divided by 12 months and refreshments is basically getting 20 rupees into 26 days, basically 520 rupees for uniform. It is 4,000 by 12, triple three other benefits for 500 rupees. He's getting some gift and 750 rupees, another uh, gift. And yearly he's having a 10,000 rupees training budget divided by 12 months. As you can see, the employee salary is just 20,000. But if you look at the CTC, which is cost to the company, it has jumped to 2737. Okay, sorry, I don't know what happened. There's some sudden goof up. Okay, so with back, hope you are able to hear me clearly. So let me just go back to that Excel sheet. Right. If you're with me, just say with me, with you or W U. Okay. Right. So basically, where, where we are is somebody is getting salary of twenty thousand, travel allowance per month, vehicle maintenance per month, insurance per year divided by twelve months, room rent, telephone, bonus twenty thousand per year divided by twelve months refreshments uniform all the other benefits together if you see it's about 27370 yeah is this clear yeah i just need some feedback because i don't know whether you are able to listen to me or is it clear awesome Okay, sorry, I think there's been some goof up today. I don't know why, but is the audio fine now? Do you find a lag or are you able to listen to me clearly? Clear? Okay, yeah. Thanks, 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 thanks. Yeah. So now, where are we? We are still in this budget. Basically, what we were talking is that 20,000 if it's a salary for an employee, you will give 1500 as travel allowance. Then there is vehicle maintenance allowance, insurance. One year you're spending 5,000 on insurance. So I'm going to take 5,000 by 12. So we are all trying to achieve per month money. Okay. Per month, room rent, no room rent. So telephone bill, 350 bonus, 20,000. 20,000 as bonus. And we're going to Per annum, so we're going to take 20,000 by 12 and we will have refreshments, there's uniform and everything added. You see total 27,370. Okay, so let me just reconnect to another network. Let's try our luck. All right, guys. So coming back to the CTC ratio. So how do you track cost to company for the employee is like this, okay? Basically, you take the salary, 20,000 rupees per month. If somebody is getting a salary of 20,000 rupees per month, travel allowance, let's say 1,500, 
vehicle maintenance 500 insurance so for one year you're spending six thousand rupees for insurance i'm going to say six thousand by 12 per month five no six thousand by 12 that's per month 500 room rent no room rent let's say company is bearing 280 rupees for phone bill for that particular employee and he's getting bonus of twenty thousand and we will divide by 12 months so that only then we will be able to arrive at a per month cost okay refreshments let's say 30 rupees per day into 26 days so 708 rupees for refreshments and uniform let's say he gets two sets of uniform with t-shirt and shoe and everything that's about 5000 rupees divided by 12 months 416 rupees and other benefits let's say 500 and 750 and let's say 10000 rupees per year for the training charges 10000 divided by 12 you add everything and you see the final total is 27726 this is the cost to company for one employee likewise if you calculate the cost to company for all the employees you know and let's not forget one thing and it's called incentive. Let's say this guy is getting incentive of 4,500 rupees average. So it's jumped to 31,476. Now this is cost to company. Now you tell me, don't just keep salary in mind, keep cost to company in mind. That's called CTC. So what is your CTC target for your company? Give me in the chat now. What is your CTC target? How much percentage are you willing to spend for your employees in your company? Is it going to be 12%, 10%, 8%, 5%? How much is that going to be? Just put in CTC and give me number. Yeah. Gopinath Parnisamy says that's going to be 10%. Riyas 25%. Yeah, it varies from company to company. If you are a if you, there's more margin on your product, you can spend more on the employees. It varies. Okay. See, simple. The simple rule is if your product is getting more margin, the sales target of an employee itself will be like 5 lakh, 10 lakh, 15 lakh. If your product is getting less margin, the sales target itself for an employee will be 25 lakh, 45 lakh, 50 lakh, and more. Okay. So 4 to 5 percent. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just going to say 10 percent here. And here are the two main important things. Re are for reinvestment. Okay. This is what I'm going to call it as profit. Profit set aside. And this is management payout. How much management wants to take home? How much management wants to put it back to the business? Or you basically keep it as profit. Later, that profit, you put it back to the business, you spend all that is separate, but you need to keep something as profit. So how much percentage would you like to keep it as profit? What is the goal? Let's say you want to keep 5% as profit and 1% you want to take home. Can I just try to do a total? You see the total is 102. Is it right? No, it's not right. The total should be 100. It should be only 100. So somewhere I have to reduce. Either I have to reduce 3% as reinvestment or my management pay I have to reduce, or cost to company I have to reduce, or branding I have to reduce, or overheads I have to reduce, somewhere I have to reduce. So let's say 70% here, and maybe this another 14% I'll try to reduce, and branding I'll try to make 0.5%, and CTC I will try to, maybe this I will try to make 4%, and I will just try to keep 1% as buffer, or maybe I will just try to keep this as 14. Point. Okay, or maybe I'll just keep it as 14 and branding, I will keep one. Now, this is version 1.0 budget. Can you at least create a rough budget like this? Is it possible or no? You tell me, yes or no. No, no, today, today I want. If you created this, please create and put in the chat or go to your mobile app, open your mobile app. Okay, go to GFA community. Just post there. This is my budget. Or simple, I will tell you. Go to your chapter WhatsApp group and say, this is the budget I have for my company. Can you share that for me? Yeah, just, just go ahead and share that. And right now you share it. I will also try to go to your chapter groups and see who is sharing that. Go to your chapter group and say, 
or just take a photo of this and put it inside or just enter the details and post there. In 10 minutes, I'll just go and check that. Okay, so your rough idea is ready though. Now let's try to use this sheet. Let me zoom out. Okay, once your rough idea is ready, you're going to enter your goals there. Okay, margin, what is your goal? Margin, product cost is 70%. Overhead goal is 14%. Branding goal is 1%. Cost to company, employee goal is 10%. Reinvestment goal is 4%. And management share is 1%. So if you come here, the total is exactly 100. You can see. So if I add 5 here, this will become 101. This total should be 100. So I have to go back here and I'll keep this as 4%. So my goal is ready. 70% for product, 14% for overhead. 1% for branding, 10% for employee, 4% for reinvestment, and 10 1% for management. And total is 100%. Now I will tell you the power of the sheet. Okay. We have sales and service. How to calculate? Basically, make separate trackers for sales, for service. Make two trackers, no problem. Or if you want to do a combined average, take combined average and start somewhere. For total business, you start somewhere. That is why I'm always giving you goal versus actual. I will tell you what you have to do. You just have to enter your turnover here. Okay, month one, no? Let's say this is September. Take the finished month or maybe this month is up. September 2022. Just enter your turnover. Let's say your turnover is 43,56,000. I'm just going to press enter and then see the magic happens. 43,56,000 enter. Your, can you see your goal split up and kept absolutely like this? If this is at least giving a good feel, just put wow. For distributors, margin comes 90, 94. Yeah, it, it, yeah, true, true. That's nothing. No problem. You just put 90% there and you put 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.25 like that. See, jewelry people, 98%, bullion people, 98% goes on product itself. So with only 2%, they have to play the game. But the turnover will be in crores and crores and crores. You see? my For product, I can spend 30 lakh. For overheads, I can spend 6 lakhs. For branding, I can spend 43,000. For CTC, I can spend 4.35 lakh. And that's for reinvestment, I can spend 1.74. For management, I can take home 43. And that's the total. And here you write the actual. Actually, for the product, you spend maybe 32 lakhs. So you know the actual value. And see, the goal is 70%, but you have actually overshot it. So if you just enter all the actual value here, Right. I'm just going to enter some rough numbers here for fun. Just enter your actual values here. Just enter your values only here. Only the green column you enter. So finally, you'll see the difference here. You see minus 26 percentage. The difference will come here. This is the simplest form of budgeting. This is what even a software can do for you. But before you go to a software, you have to work on an Excel sheet like this. Now, somebody said their products margins are different. Let's say you're on, you're on distribution. Your product cost itself for 95%. So what you will do is you'll try to keep your office for 1%, your branding for 0.25%, and maybe your employee cost for 1%, and your reinvestment for 1% and management share for 0.25%. Still we are on 100, right? So maybe you can just do 0.5%. You can still do more. Okay, so reinvestment can be 2% and this can be 1%. Yeah. 
your branding can still be employee can be 1.3 percent and this can be 0.75 percent basically you are only trying to make a rough budget start tracking for at least three months just put three months in the chat just start working for three months then you will know which budget is too much which budget is less what you can do with your company how to streamline the finances simple with way to start working on your budgets so for three months start working on this and, and I want to tell you the most powerful way. If you want to be a great person, like one of the member who said in Salem that he's actually done it. He has spent crores on uh, softwares, like automation softwares, which can do it, is what I'm asking you to do it right now. Not I'm not asking you to spend crores on the software, but your manpower can do it for a few hundreds or thousands. Okay, But here is my strategy, practical strategy. You should have a purchase account operations account, branding account, employee account, and profit account. Totally five bank accounts. Okay, just say five bank accounts. And I know this is so crazy. Some of you are thinking already too many bank accounts. You're asking me to have five bank accounts. How is it possible? Do you have separate wallet for husband and wife in home? Same family, no, have only one wallet. Why you're having two wallet? Why you're having two credit cards? It's because you want to have some track. You want to have some control, right? Even if you have two homes, homes or houses and you're giving it for rent, you're having separate EB meter. Why? Because you want to have some kind of control, right? Now, here's a rule. I've got, I'll give you a 10% rule. This is some relief for all of you. 10% rule. Just put 10% rule in the chat. 10% rule in the chat. You can decide whether you want to go with the 10% rule or 5% rule. Yes, all five are current account. And all five are companies account. Why? What is the 10% rule is? If that budget category is having more than 10%, you have an account for it. If not, don't have an account. It is not worth it. Are you able to follow what I'm saying? See, in this case, 95% for margin. So need an account. For 1% don't want account. 0.3% don't want account. CTC don't want account. Because everything 1%, 1.5% don't need. Unwanted. Reinvestment don't want account. This don't want account. But one small catch is there. You must have a profit account. Just put in the chat box, profit must. Okay. Here is the rule. 10% above open account profit open account so this is thumb rule any budget you're spending more than 10 percent of turnover have a separate account for profit surely you should have a separate account profit must okay i will go i'll go play with the budgets now somebody is spending 70 percent on margin overhead is 10 percentage branding is one percentage Employee cost is 12 percentage. So reinvestment is 5 percentage and management share is 1 percentage or 2 percentage. Clear? Margin 70, overheads 10, branding 1, CTC 12, reinvestment 5, management 2. Now you tell me, come on, please work with me in the chat faster. Margin is 70%. Do you need an account or no? Do you want an account or no? Margin is 70%. Do we need an account for margin? Do we need a bank account? Yes. Please call that account as purchase account. Please write and keep. You don't have to put in the chat. Please write in your diary. These are your important financial decisions you're going to be taking now. Write something called purchase account. You have to have an account and call it as purchase account. Okay, now overhead is 10%. Do we need an account? Overhead is 10%. Do we need an account? Yeah, we need. Call it as operational account. So you have purchase account, you have operation account. 
Now, branding is 1%. Do you need to open account for branding? Branding is 1%. Do you do we need to account op, for I mean need an account for branding? No needed. Not needed. 1% and not you taking and keeping in separate account, headache. Don't want. Don't do it. Okay. For branding, no account. It will be in the master account itself. For employee, 12% for employee. Do you want an employee account? Yes, call it as employee account. So right now for this budget, you're going to have purchase account for margin, operation account for overheads, and you will have employee account for CTC. <clears throat> reinvestment. Reinvestment is only 5%. Do you want a profit account? Should we have a profit account? Okay, everybody, everybody is brilliant. Yeah. Profit is must, even if it is 1% or 0.25% or 0.00001% also, you must have profit account. Okay, so you have to set up a profit account. Open a separate account, call it as profit account. Profit account is must. Management account, do you need a separate account? No need. That is your salary. Don't call this, this is personal profit, this is business profit. Personal profit, always keep it very small. You take it as salary. Business profit, you park and keep it aside. Then later, what to do with that profit money, you decide later. You want to expand, buy new land, buy new missionary, next factory, expansion, new country, set up company in America, UAE, wherever you want, Germany, all that you do. In GFA itself, you're going to be sharing so much knowledge about how to expand business on a global note. Okay. I will... Tell you what, some of you are thinking, sir, already company is not doing very well. How I can take this 5% and keep that side? It's not possible. What I'm saying is it is not possible. It's okay. Headache plus headache, more headache, do it. Take the 5% and keep it separately in an account. Only when you keep it separately in an account, you remember the opening session I talked about low battery. 15%, what you can do, you will do that. Because all the money is inside one account only, you're jumping. You're putting that for branding, using that for employee, using that for yourself, using that for expansion. No. Okay. In, in Tamil, they used to say, no, no money, Dora Patni. Okay. So like that, you keep that account in separate, sep money in separate, separate accounts and you start working on it. All the money move to another account. When there is no money, your company is going to go for a loan. That time, you take loan from the profit account and try to repay. For repaying also, you will take one year, two year, three or year also, okay. But write in an account that I have a loan from the profit account. I have to put it back. I have to put 40 lakh into the profit account. I have to give it back. That's not your money. That's profit. From the profit account, you buy a new mission. That is different. But profit should be kept aside. If you are not able to keep it aside, there's a serious problem with the business. And if you are not able to keep 5%, please start with 1%. Can you please put 1% in the chat? If you are not able to take the profit and keep it aside, kindly start with 1%. Whatever money comes inside the bank account, just to move 1% and keep it aside. I'm telling you, that will do so much wonders for you. Okay, so when to transfer? Biggest account, weekly once or 15 days once. Small account, monthly once. I don't want to give more headache to you. Big accounts, weekly once. Small accounts, monthly once. What does it mean? Sir, for margin, which is purchase, for making purchase, you need more money, no? So all the money is coming to a main account. All the incoming is coming to one account. From that account only you are spending. From that account hereafter, you will not spend. All the money is coming to one account. From that account, for purchase, you need money very often. So every Friday or every Monday, you decide. Every Friday, whatever money comes inside, 70% moves to the purchase account. If the money is there in the purchase account, you are fit to purchase. If not, don't purchase. Wait for next Friday. 
Still you want to get loan, no problem. Still you can get loan, but make the process difficult. Okay, margin. No, uh, margin. Yeah, this is just <clears throat> purchase account. Like for services company, there is no purchase account. You don't need that. For services company, you don't need. Only for manufacturing company and trading company, you need this. Because you'll be making weekly purchase. Every week, you're going to be buying raw material. For that, from this account, it should go. So if I am a retail guy, I if the money is coming and 70% is inside the purchase account, I can buy. If the money is not coming into the purchase account, I am not supposed to buy. Still, if I go and buy, which means I am going against the law. If, I, if you are going against the law only, you will get into problem, trouble, loss, everything will come. If the money is coming, which is basically called as cash flow, if the cash flow is there and then you are spending from the cash flow, you are still good. It's no big problem. But if the cash flow is breaking and still you want to spend, it's a warning problem. What If what I'm saying is correct, just give me correct in the chat. Okay, so purchase account alone, you put monthly, every week once. Every Friday, you push the money. From that, you spend it. Overheads and all, you don't have to keep it every month, every week, every Friday, don't do it. This, are, this is small account, no? 10, 10% and all, no big deal. So what you do, end of the month, 25th of the month, 28th of the month, or 30th of the month, or 1st of the month. Monthly once, you push all the money. So main account is there. Daily money is coming to the main account. Weekly once, purchase account will get refilled. Monthly once, overhead account will get refilled. From that account, you will pay rent, EB, rent, EB and uh, EMI. You keep aside... For branding and CTC, you're not, for branding, you're not going to do it. You, you will spend from the main account itself. For CTC, you will have a separate account for employee. So that 12% is gone there. So that 12, from the 12% employee salary, bonus, ESI, PEF, everything is taken care of. And very importantly, profit account, that also, if you want to take every week, better take and keep. If not, monthly once you take and keep. But if you think monthly once is very boring, for you to feel happy, take, do it weekly. Say so every week, move one percentage for purchase, move one percentage for the profit account. Slightly keep moving it outside. Your money, basically, end of the month. This month, no money, don't take. Next month, take the old money, together you take, no problem. So if you plan like this, I'm telling you, definitely you will be a cash rich company. This is a new template actually created by us only for the GFA team. So basically start working on a tracker like this and take your game to the next level. The whole idea is you should be super strong on accounts and then <clears throat> this, this will give you a lot of discipline. This is exactly what four or five generations back like I am the first generation entrepreneur, so nobody in my family did business. But if you are a generation, 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 after generation entrepreneur, your grandfathers and forefathers did this. But they did not do it in accounts. They did it in bottles or jars or boxes or briefcases or suitcases. Yeah, they did this. They had different trunk boxes. They will take the money and you know tie those money and put it in a jar. They will say 10% employee, 5% for me, 10% for next year. Like that, they used to take and keep it. You can use profit accounts as saving account, but you, it needs to be on your company name. Don't take the money out because you're parking a huge money, right? You're parking at least 5% or 2%. So it's quite difficult to take it out. Okay, so keep it as profit itself. For the auditing purpose, end of the year, there are many ways you can spend that money. You spend that money on expansion or digital ads. Still, you will come back and spend here. But the rule is keep it separately. It can give you savings, but I'm not sure for company you can have a savings account. But that's okay. Just keep it. See, every three months once you, you will be reinvesting that money. It's basically called as reinvestment account. But I'm calling it as profit account. So you take the profit, then spend the profit. Nobody is going to take that profit and go somewhere. Spend it back to the business. But let us only, the idea is, your, it's called bootstrapping. 
business will grow with the business's money not with other money yeah excel sheet is already been shared to the gfa official group so this is the official stuff that we wanted to share let me just go quickly to the chapter groups and see who has shared this in the whatsapp group in the chapter okay so let's check no chennai chapter no one tamil nadu chapter okay still no one and kongu chapter yeah still no one okay i think everybody forgot or still carried away go ahead take your action post it today like post it literally today if so people ask what is this what is this ask them to go to the trustful trust treasure vault and take the program watch the video and ask them to work on it okay so wishing you the very very best start working on the excel sheet still we'll be checking on it tomorrow slash in your community there is gfi community you can start posting some promotions and all start posting your actions over there and that's exactly what i'd love to see uh, you know we just basically love to see people see people on action right so all the very best see you next week james reed signing off